Hi, students. Uh, hope you are doing well. Uh, so, welcome to uh, another reading comprehension passage. And uh, here we have a direction for question is what? Answer the following questions based on the information given below. So, what I assume that you must have gone through this text, yet I would like to give for uh, a brief idea about this text. So the text is trying to give us what? The text or the passage discusses the challenges actually, right? So discusses the challenges faced by the liberal arts in higher education, isn't it? Like you, if you see that in the second paragraph where it is stated public higher education, the COVID-19 pandemic has excessively harmful to the effects of a long decline in public funding. So not only that, it argues for a reframing of how the humanities are taught and valued, emphasizing their importance in addressing societal issues and advocating, advocating for what uh, you could say that for justice, isn't it? So uh, it is also said that the uh, it or it highlights the financial struggles of colleges and universities the impact of austerity measures and the need to prioritize the human. Despite what? Uh, despite, you could say that budgetary constraints, isn't it? So uh, you would also find out that uh, um, at the end of it, uh, where the writer talks about what? Means uh, concluding by urging action to uh, address systematic inequalities uh, playing with the humanities playing a vital role in this, in this endeavor, isn't it? Now, that is what you would find out in this urgent work, the humanities can help, isn't it? So, and if you talk about, this is the something called a uh, brief idea about the text. If you talk about the main idea of the text, so the main idea also same as you would find out the liberal arts face challenges in higher education, right? So, uh, and uh, why due to funding cuts and the COVID-19 pandemic, there is, uh, there is also need to rethink how the humanities are taught uh, and valued, taught and valued uh, to demonstrate their relevance and importance in addressing societal issues. You also find out uh, the another main idea that called as uh, financial struggles and austerity measures have further compounded the challenges. Challenges faced by whom? challenges faced by colleges and you can talk about universities, right? Uh, despite financial constraints, it is essential to prioritize the humanities in education to address, uh, you could say that systematic inequalities and advocates, advocates for justice, isn't it? Advocates for justice. If you see that the style of the passage, so the style of the passage uh, could be, indicated as a informative one, informative, and uh, you could say that persuasive, informative and persuasive, right? So it presents a clear analysis of the challenges facing the liberal arts in higher education. And uh, you could talk about that. Mm, you could say uh, the importance of reframing how the humanities are perceived and taught. Uh, you you could say that the language is again means uh, formal, formal, and uh, articulate beautifully. Actually, right, articulate uh, with a focus on what uh, at the end where it is stated the urgency of the situation and advocating for uh, some kind of a, or advocating for change. So next one, if you talk about the tone of the passage, the tone of the passage is what? Urgent and uh, impassioned, impassioned, isn't it? So the author expresses what actually? The author expresses uh, concern, isn't it? The author expresses concern, uh, the author also uh, indicating about the current state of the liberal arts, liberal arts, um, in higher education and the need for immediate action to address the challenges they face. There is a, you could say, a sense of urgency in advocating for the value of the humanities in addressing societal, mm, societal issues and advocating for justice also. So, um, 
means you could find out uh, despite the financial constraint and systematic inequalities, okay? So this is the idea that you can draw the uh, brief information about the passage. The style is informative and persuasive and the tone is called as urgent and impassioned, right? So let's jump to the question. So what does the question point out? What has exacerbated the financial challenges faced by public higher education institutions during the COVID-19 pandemic according to the passage? Now, if I talk about the question, the question asks about the factor, isn't it? The question asks about the factor that has worsened, exacerbated means called as excessive harm or called as a worsened the financial um, challenges for public higher education institution during the COVID-19 pandemic as stated in the passage. Now jump to the um, answer option. Which answer option can uh, go with the questions um, or go with the means of one of the factors? Let's say that the first answer option or first option, which is stated a decline in enrollment due to economic uncertainties. Now, if I talk about this choice, which is a decline in enrollment cannot be called as a exacerbated. This choice in incorrectly attributes de uh, degrading or decre decreasing enrollment to e economic uncertainty. While the passage links it to the financial burden of post-secondary education during the pandemic. So hence, Option one cannot be. So look into the option two, where it is stated refunds for auxiliary services like housing and dining. Mm, yes, this could be called as the uh, exacerbated or excessive harmful to the financial challenges as we could get from the uh, first or second paragraph where it is stated if we are to ensure the long-term future of the liberal arts, we must so and so. Um, while the humanities have been dramatically sidelined in the past, such changes are crucial to demonstrate how valuing them a new offers as ways to imagine. So in the second paragraph, it is stated for public higher education, the COVID-19 has exacerbated, yes, exacerbated the effects of a long-term decline in public funding. For years, colleges and universities have been aching out their continued existence through austerity measures making small, often unstrategic cuts to budget while attempting to maintain operation under increasingly tenuous circumstances. Now they have been confronted with the financial challenges of the pandemic. These include reforms for auxiliary services like housing and dining. Yes, this could be called as excessive harmful, option two. Um, so we could say that the passage ended highlights reforms for auxiliary services like housing and dining as one of the factors exacerbating the financial challenges faced by public higher education institutions during the pandemic. So hence, two would be known as one of the answers. Uh, let's see that um, other options. So option three stated the privatization of the education sector. So if we look into the option three, um, the privatization of the education sector cannot be called as excessive harmful, right? The, because the passage discusses the untenable funding model of privatization, but doesn't specifically mention it as a factor, right? Uh, so option three cannot be called as a factor exacerbating financial challenges during the uh, pandemic. So option three is also eliminated. Option four, the lack of emphasis on humanity education. So the passage advocates for the what? importance of importance of humanities right importance of humanities um, education but doesn't indicate that the lack of emphasis on it has exacerbated financial challenges during the pandemic so therefore we could consider option two would be the most accurate answer based on the information provided in the passes so hope you understood this <clears throat> that's all thank you Let's move to the next question.